geometry, point, line and ray. The most practical branch of mathematics is geometry. The term geometry is derived from the Greek word geometron. It means earth's measurement. The fundamental elements of geometry are 1. Point 2. Line segment 3. Line 4. Ray and 5. Plane Shalu wants to draw a line, so she puts a dot on a paper with a pencil. This dot gives us the idea of a point. When we search for a place in a map, we see a red location marker that points a place in Google Maps as shown here. These points refer to the exact location of the places. Here it is showing London and New Delhi. Hence we can say that 1. A point represents a location. 2. A point has an exact position. 3. A point has no dimensions, that is, it has no length, breadth or thickness. Let us see how to name a point. Points are usually named by using a single capital letter. In this figure, the points P, Q and R are shown. These points are read as point P, point Q and point R. The next most important fundamental concept of geometry is line. Shalu draws a line. We can mark many points on this line and name them too. So, we can say that a line is made up of an infinite number of points that extend indefinitely in either direction. Shalu draws a line with arrows on both the sides. She marks two points A and B on the line to get a line segment. She measures and finds the length of the line segment to be 5 cm. A line segment is a part of a line. It has a definite length and it has two end points. If a line segment from A to B is extended beyond A in one direction and beyond B in the other, then we get a line AB which is written like this. Line segment AB is written as What do we call the sun's light? We normally call it as sun's rays. We also get the rays of light from a torch. These lights give us an idea of rays. A ray originates from a fixed point and extends endlessly in one direction. As you can see here, point A is the fixed point and the rays are extending in one direction. If we put a point B here, we can say that this is ray AB and this is written as Remember, 1. A ray has a direction. 2. A ray cannot be drawn on a paper like a line. 3. We can draw only a part of the ray with a starting point on one end and an arrowhead on the other end. The floor, the wall and the blackboard are all having plain flat surfaces. These are some examples of plane. A plane is said to be a very thin, flat surface that does not have any thickness and extends endlessly in all directions. Though the plane extends endlessly, for practical purposes, we represent it by a portion. It may be represented in the form of a rectangle, triangle or a parallelogram. We can represent a plane by three or more points which are not in a straight line. Remember, a plane is a flat surface that extends endlessly in all directions. A plane is represented by three or more points. Let us observe the two lines in the screen. The two lines CD and EF are crossing each other at a point M. Such lines crossing each other are called intersecting lines. The point of intersection is also named with a capital letter. Now let us observe the lines XY and LT on the screen. They do not meet at any point. Such lines are called parallel lines. Such lines always have a fixed distance between each other. Parallel lines XY and LT are represented as We can see intersecting lines and parallel lines in our everyday life. For example, 
intersecting roads and railway tracks respectively. Quick recap. 1. A point represents an exact location, position, and it has no dimensions. 2. A line is made up of infinite points and can extend indefinitely on both the sides. 3. A line segment is a part of a line. It has a definite length and it has two end points. 4. A ray has a starting point and no end point as it extends indefinitely on one side. 5. A plane is said to be a very thin flat surface that does not have any thickness and extends endlessly in all directions. 6. Lines that cross each other at a point are called intersecting lines. 7. Lines that do not meet each other are called parallel lines.